everybody. Welcome back. This is Tinker77, and we are again back on the Techtopia server that Tango Tech has for his Patreons. And we are today going to work on a few things. Again, uh, I'm out of housing space. If you have one bed here, someone's walking around, probably a guard. I need to make another one of these, so I'll probably do that off camera. You've seen this. I'll make another house six. We'll probably have to get some more emeralds, and we know how I do that. Go mining for it. But what I want to also do here is I want to get um, what's called... It's a druid. Apparently a druid will regenerate mine shafts and also make crops grow faster and that sort of thing. So I want to get that uh, pretty quick here. So I think during the next daylight cycle, uh, we'll see if we can do that. I believe I have a child running around, so maybe they will grow up uh, or we may have a nomad. So I'm going to go up here and I want to go and see if we can get the druid token right away. Um, there isn't a specific structure that the druid has, but I'd like to make something as well, some sort of like... I don't know, a stonehenge like thing somewhere. Um, but I'm not sure, and we'll see how it goes. So first of all, I want to say thank you guys for, for uh, coming out here. You know, uh, just recently I hit 2,000 subscribers, and it's all because of viewers like you who are watching these videos, who are subscribing, and I really want to say thank you for that. Um, I have been streaming over on Twitch, and I put out notifications out on Twitter, and I also have an Instagram somewhere, and Discord, and all the other stuff that you usually see. So, But anyway, just... Thank you. I kind of ramble a little bit. So let's go and see here. Looking for the druid. A cleric takes 21. I mean, we may not even have enough for a druid. Um, let's see. A teacher. We do need it to a school. Let me do that in another episode. The druid takes 21. Okay, so a druid takes 21. And the house 6 takes what again? 36. So what is that? That's 57 emeralds. We need to get a lot more emeralds. So I am once again, I'm going to go and do some mining over in my mine, looking for more emeralds. So if we get a stack of emeralds, let's say, I should be good to uh, get those two things. So let me go do that. Be right back. Back from the mining session and I've got a stack of emeralds here. So let's go and get and get a druid really quick. And there we go. And we also want to get one of the uh, house six. So we're gonna make another one of those in just a second. And also, while I was down there, I found something. So we're going to go and take a look at that in just a second after I get done doing all this building and stuff. There's a person right there. They're going to be a druid, I think. Let's go and check them out, see what they have on them first. Hopefully they are a druid already. Okay, what are you? You are a bard, but you're only level one. So you're gonna be a druid, here we go. And there you are, Maria. You are now a druid. Now, the druids, I guess what they do is they have one or two different choices. They can either revitalize a mine, or they can revitalize or basically make crops grow faster. And it looks like since they're heading down, their target is the mine. So, let's see what happens here. Walks over to the mine. Look at that. Oh, and it's a slime block. <laughs> wow, I didn't know that. Or maybe the, the druid makes that? I don't think so, though. But hey, we got some more slime. That's cool. That wasn't expected, but hey, we'll take it. So they're doing this thing here. If you look at their uh, what they can do, they can earth reform, grow crops, grow trees, read in the library, and visit the tavern. So I'm just watching this, see if I can see anything happening specifically. I don't know if they're just growing it from the end all the way back or what they're doing. I don't know. I'm going to eat real quick here. Okay. Well, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to make another one of these cells right here so that I have room for it, so I can have room for six more people. Uh, we have a couple of beds there. I'm not sure why we have spare beds. We don't usually, but I'm going to build that out, and then we're going to go and show you what I found. Another house six is done, and there it's recognized, and all the beds are yellow. We're good to go here, so we have plenty of space now for some new people. So now let's go show you what I found. This is what I found. I was doing some caving, looking for the uh, emeralds, and I found a skeleton spawner. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to make uh, some form of very generic skeleton farm. So that we can get some bones and other things, and maybe we can sell that on the server. That would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? So I'm going to start to do a little bit of a dig here. This is going to be a project for this video, I guess, instead of doing the other things. We're going to do the druid, obviously, which we just did. But we're going to uh, make this particular farm. So let me get this all kind of, of, you know, mapped out and dug out and get it kind of figured out, okay? Okay, so I have created a drop chute here. 
They should drop right down here, and I'm going to put hoppers here. Now, these hoppers are going to go down into this chest. So I'll have one right there, and then one over here and over there. Now, the skeleton should drop to there, and they should be killable by us from here without getting hit. I'm hoping, if that's right, should be right. And then it'll go down there. We've got a little bit of a block problem. <laughs> that's kind of cool. Anyway, let's go back up here. And we're going to go up here and we're going to put in the water right now, the water streams. And then we're going to uh, seal this in and turn off the lights. Okay, so basically what I've got here is this is eight blocks long. It should funnel them into this here, this trough. Then we'll shove them over here into the corner, which should drop them down the right height. Okay, so we're going to use the buckets. And we're going to start this process right here. Now you can, with two buckets, you can duplicate the water sources. Now all of that is running right up to the edge here, you can see. Okay, so let's grab one more. Okay, and we're going to put it right here. And that should go the full distance. And then because of that, then they should drop down. That should look and work excellent. Now let's see if I can get out of here. <laughs> a little tricky. Okay, there we are. And we have our cobble. And we're going to start this up here really quick, I think. Okay. So, let's fill this in. There we go. Just going to make a little hole here for us to get over there. That's sealed. That is sealed, okay. And now let's just go over there and uh, take off these torches. There we go. Okay. Now I have one torch on top, or not torch. I have some blocks on top so the mobs don't spawn on top of the thing. You can see that's already working. Oh man, I hope he doesn't knock me off. Okay, let's get back here. Maybe he won't knock us off. And there we go. This should be functional. So let me light this up a little bit here so I don't get lost. And let's go back down to the uh, ladder. And hopefully this thing is spawning skeletons. And we have the one that dropped here. I'll kill it. There we go. And it's just a one hit. And all of the drops should go in here. Now that's my uh, cobblestone. Now I'm hoping that this will then spawn some more with my standing right here. Um, I maybe had this too far. I may have to do a different system where it goes up and over and down. Um, but I was hoping that I could do this without. Now that I think about it, I am out of the range. So they won't spawn. Oh, Tinker. Tinker messed up. But that's okay. I will uh, fix that right now. I'm going to basically seal this off right here. And I'm going to take my hoppers and things. And we're going to go up a little bit. And I'll make the, the, a new area for this. This was my fault. I did it so I'm too far out of range to actually get the spawner to work. Let me go fix that. Okay, let's try this again. You can hear the water because it's really close to us. We're going to put in the chest. There's a double chest. We want to have the hoppers. We want to have one down, one on top of that, one going on into each side, like that. We also want to have some slabs. And I don't see any of the slabs on me. I might have left them up top. Let's make some slabs really quick. Here we go. I want to have some slabs hanging down, okay? So that will work for the killing area. And there's our ladder out. And we don't need this anymore, so I can just get rid of this. And there we go. Okay, so that should be it. If I break this block, they should fall down here. Okay, and then it, it's still not one hit. It'll be more than one hit, but you can see here. We get some experience, and we get the drop. So that's what I wanted. Now we got to see if we can get some more guys. If I stand here, will more of them flow down? They should. We should be in range of the spawner. I hear something splashing. You can hear some skeletons. That's good. That's good. There they are. So basically, oh, he could shoot me there. So maybe we need to put uh, some sort of a slab or something like that up here. But, you know, this is a basic design, and it's only useful for us to get bones. We can always go to the Ender Ender to get uh, experience and to uh, get our, our picks repaired and stuff like that repaired. So, you know what I mean? This is just to get the bones. So, yeah, what do you guys think? It's a very, very simple, simple, simple mob farm. I modified the design a little bit so they're down and with the slabs over it so they shouldn't be able to see me now. Let's uncork this right here. Okay, so we should be able to stand right here and hit them and not be able to be attacked by the skeletons. There we go. Okay. 
So that is working too. Okay, and we got a power one bow. That's kind of cool. So we've got a working farm. This is excellent. Okay, now I still have a little bit more time of this episode. So we're going to go back to the village right now. And we're going to work on maybe we should get a cleric. Hmm. Looking at the tradesman, what is the cleric? Cleric is 21. I don't think we have 21. Um, I think we have maybe like 8 or something like that. If I can find it. Uh, where'd all our emeralds go? Oh, I know where they are. They're inside the farm. I have a little chest that I put stuff away. It's in there. Let's go get it. Um, but yes, I don't think I have 21 anyway. So we're going to go. I'm going to do a little bit more mining really quick. And then we're going to get a cleric. And maybe we'll make a building for the cleric. What do you guys think? It is nighttime when I just arrived back. So we won't have anybody we can do this with. But we're going to get a cleric here. And there we go. So now I have a cleric token. We have to wait through the night. So we need to make another structure here that is some sort of a place... For the cleric and the druid, maybe we can kind of think of something that they want to do. Um, and maybe we'll put it over there somewhere. So let's go take a look and see what we've got. Of course, I have a lot of this dark oak to work with. So we're probably going to make it out of dark oak. But if I were able to make this area here and kind of get some dirt and I could make like a nice area. So I think that's what I'm going to do first. We're going to do a little bit of terraforming. And then we're going to start to make a building. Maybe something similar to this or... I don't know. We'll have to think about what we want to do. Let me grab some dirt first, level it out, and see uh, what happens. I've made an area here that I want for this uh, this church, if you will, and it's going to be right here. Now, I did it backwards. I did the floor first and then put a little border around it. I, I'm doing it from the inside out. I don't get that. Um, but, but anyway, um, I'm thinking of having the doorway here and some like rows of chairs. And Do I have any chairs on me? I don't. And then we'll have some sort of, I don't know, um, some place over here where the cleric can be and do their things. And there's no way to really tell the cleric to do that, to go here. But it's just kind of like uh, for uh, for ambiance for the uh, prison. they got to have a place for them to uh, to get some, some religion, okay? So I'm going to try to build this up. I don't know if I'm going to use uh, the dark oak or not. I may use stone brick like that over there uh, to give it a little more of a look. That it's more of a permanent and has more of a um, of a meaningful thing to it. I don't know if I'm describing that right. This is what I've come up with so far. You can kind of see it's a uh, it's got stained glass and I've got a kind of archway door. I'm not sure what I want to do with this. I added the chairs so I can get a kind of a feel for what it is. I think I want some sort of carpeting coming up through here and then up here we'll put some sort of uh, lectern or something like that. And um, I'm not sure what we'll do on the back wall yet. Haven't worked that out. But it's nighttime again, so uh, everybody should be, like, getting ready to go to sleep in the guard. He's just watching me. So I'm going to continue on working on this. But this is what I've got so far. And it's not bad. Um, you know, I'm not a builder. So <laughs> I'm doing okay. We'll see how it looks when I get done. I am such a terrible builder, guys. Um, I'm going to have some sort of sloped roof. Going up to that, and then this will be like, like kind of like a steeple. That's what I was trying to do, and I'm not very good at it. <laughs> but I'm trying. It's taken a lot longer than I uh, had planned, and so I have actually run out of time for tonight. Um, I want to get this edited and get it out to you. But we'll continue to work on this in the next episode and then work on some more expansions to the village. I still have to work on the fences out there during streams. There's so much to do. I just... Don't have a lot of time with my work schedule and other things going on, Boy Scouts and other things. So, yeah, I'm sorry about that. I wanted to get done with it, but I just wasn't able to. So, anyway, guys, this is it. If you like this video, please click that like button. If you have any comments, put them down in the comment section. And if you'd like to be notified of the videos I produce, please subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you get all notifications. And, again, guys, thank you so much for 2,000 subscribers. Uh, the channel's growing, and I really, really do appreciate it. So, uh... See you next time.